Liberation chapter 1 Ufunuo sura ya kwanza Then I'll start from the same Nitaanzia mstari wa 10 I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet Nilikuwa nilikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana nikasikia sauti kuu nyuma yangu kama sauti ya baragumu Revelation chapter 4 Then the sura ya 4 After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet baada ya hayo naliona na tazama mlango kafunguka mbinguni na sauti ile ya kwanza niliyoisikia kama sauti ya baragumu ikinana nami ikisema talking to me talking with me which said come up here ikinana nami ikisema panda hata huku may the lord add his blessings upon the reading of his word bwana ongeze baraka kwa kusoma kwa neno lake Cannot get sick. So, But you didn't say amen. Lakini amkusema amen. 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 Without wasting time, we just go into the way. Bila kupoteza wakati, tutaingia kwenye neno moja kwa moja. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Ndio. The theme of the message is get in the spirit. Kichwa cha ujumbe ni kwamba kinasema ingia katika roho. You cannot do anything. Uwezi kufanya kitu chochote. You cannot understand God. Uwezi kumuelewa Mungu and you cannot please God. Na uwezi kumfurahisha Mungu just in the flesh. Ukiwa mwilini. Are you get that? Nalipata hilo. Carnal minded is enmity before God. Uh, mawazo ya kiakili tu. Yaani adui wa Mungu. Now. You see? Naona sasa. I read first in the book of Revelation chapter 1. Nilisoma kwanza katika ufunuo sura ya kwanza. May the Lord help me to bring up what Mungu we should get Mungu naanisaidie niweze kuleta kile ambacho mnatakiwa kupata He said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day Alisema nilikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet Nikasikia nyuma yangu sauti kuu kama sauti ya baragumu John we Yo. know he is speaking this while he was on the ease of Patmos. Yohana tunafahamu kwamba anayanena hayo wakati alipokuwa kwenye kisiwa cha Patmos. And he is saying na naye anasema in John chapter in, in I mean in Revelation chapter in chapter 1 verse 9 he is saying I John I am your brother uh, uh, who also am your brother Anas- and your companion in tribulation. Anasema katika ufunuo ile moja tisa akisema kwamba mimi Yohana ndugu yenu na mwenzenu katika mateso and in the kingdom and the patience of Jesus Christ na katika mateso kat, na katika ufalme na subira ya Yesu Kristo who was in the iso that is called Patmos for the word of God na alikuwa katika kisiwa kitwacho Patmos kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. na ushuhuda wa Yesu Kristo I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Nalikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana. And heard the voice a great heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Nami nikasikia sauti kuu nyuma yangu kama sauti ya baragumu. Amen. Amen. Naona. John. Yohana said I am your brother. Alisema mimi ni ndugu yenu. He is talking to 
those brothers who was the disciples of Jesus Christ by then ananena kuhusu wale ndugu ambao walikuwa ni wanafunzi wa Yesu wakati ule at the time when the Christians were under persecution katika nyakati zile ambazo wakristo walikuwa katika mateso and the prophet says not a great tribulation because the church cannot go through tribulation na nabii anasema kwamba ile haikuwa ni viki kuu kwa sababu kanisa haliwezi kupita katika viki kuu are you following that amen now it was the time when the uh, the law the time of the old, the old testament was vanishing away and Ili, there came now the time of the new testament ilikuwa ni wakati ambapo agano la kale lilikuwa linamalizika na agano jipya sasa lilikuwa linaanza two when the believers became so spiritual jambo la pili kwamba waaminio walipokuwa wa kiroho sana with the word of god na neno la mungu they overcame so many things walishinda mambo mengi sana witchcraft was overcome uchawi ulishindwa diseases were overcome magonjwa yalishindwa death was overcome mauti ilishindwa and it was during the days of the romans na ilikuwa ni katika siku za warumi and the spirit of the roman na roho ya warumi is a spirit that wants to dominate the earth ni roho inayopenda kutawala dunia and by seeing that christianity started dominating na baada kuona kwamba ukristo ulikuwa umeanza kutawala that spirit wanted to exterminate every kind of christianity hiyo roho ya warumi ilitaka ikomeshe kabisa kila aina ya roho inayohusiana na ukristo now at this time sasa katika wakati huo John was the last one who remained on earth. Yohana peke yake ndiye alikuwa amebaki duniani. Oh the uh, disciples. Mitume wengine wote. All, all the apostles. Wale wana wa, mitume wengine wanafunzi wa Yesu. Were all killed. Walikuwa wameuawa. Now the remaining one. Hasa aliyebaki tu. Remember, kumbukeni. They tried to do anything to eliminate his life walijaribu kufanya kila walichoweza kuondoa maisha ya Yohana they tried to cook him in, in grease walijaribu kumchemsha katika lami for 24 hours kwa masaa 24 in the morning they found that he was just there the way he was kwa kwa muka asubuhi wakashanga kwenye pipa yuko mzima wake not even his skin was bent hata ngozi yake haifungua kabisa then they said this this guy wakasema huyu jamaa is a dangerous man to live among the society huyu ni binadamu hatari sana kuishi kwenye jamii not a region destroyed the, the way people put it that at the ending they poked his eyes no he was not poked sio hii hadithi even the prophet has never mentioned that wana wa, kwenye hadithi za kihistoria zingine wanasema kwamba mwisho kabisa walimtoboa macho wakamtoa akawa kipofu hakuwahi kufanywa hivyo hata nabii hajawahi kusema hivyo but he was cooked lakini kuchemshwa alichemshwa and taken on the iso party na baadaye akatupwa kwenye kisiwa cha party now the prophet says sasa nabii anasema john yohana he was a prophet alikuwa ni nabii everyone of us know that he was a prophet ah, kila mmoja wetu anajua kwamba alikuwa ni nabii and the prophet has got his own way na nabii ana njia yake mwenyewe he is different from all of us yuko tofauti na kila mmoja wetu hapa now when the believers sasa waamini wakati wa minio being persecuted wakipo kwa kiteswa they could go to him wangemwendea john we see that you are suffering sasa Yohana tunaona tunateseka what can we do for you sasa tukusaidie nini then god in heaven was watching mungu alikuwa anatazama kutoka mbinguni and then he met the roman emperor sasa akakutana na dola ya kirumi to take him wakamchukua to the is of patmos wakamtupa kwenye kisiwa cha patmos let me tell you hebu ngoja nikwambie whatever happens in your life chochote kinachotokea maishani mwako if you are a true believer kama wewe ni mwaminio halisi never you complain usilalamike 
God in heaven. Mungu wa mbinguni. He is the one who is engineering everything. Yeye ndiye mambo yote hapo. That's why the Bible says. Ndio maana Biblia inasema all things work out for good mambo yote yanafanyika to them that love the lord kuwapatia mema wampendao bwana if you love god kama unampenda bwana whatever you see as negative chochote unachokiona kwamba kiko hasi just praise the lord wewe mtukuze mungu just praise the lord wewe mtukuze mungu god is the one who is doing it mungu ndiye anayekivanya hilo the devil Ibilisi has no power over a believer. Hana nguvu kwa muamini. Whatever the devil can you do? Chochote ambacho shetani anaweza kufanya. He is allowed. Ameruhusiwa. Are you getting that? Nalipata hilo. So God, kwa hiyo Mungu, he knew that the last book, the book of Revelation was not yet written. Alijua kwamba kitabu cha mwisho cha Biblia kitabu cha ufunuo kilikuwa kijaandikwa baada. So he wanted this book to be written. Kwa hiyo alitaka kitabu hiki kiandikwe. So John was taken on the hizo part. Kwa hiyo Yohana akachukuliwa akapelekwa kwenye kisiwa cha party. And then he said, ndipo akasema, I was in the spirit. Na alikuwa katika roho on the Lord's day. Katika siku ya Bwana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Which day was that? Hiyo siku ilikuwa ni siku gani? Was it Saturday? Ilikuwa Jumamosi. Was it Sunday? Ilikuwa ni Jumapili. No. Hapana. John. Yohana was taken in the Lord's day. Alipelekwa kwenye siku ya Bwana. This this day we are living in. Siku hii ambayo tunaishi sisi. Sunday, Sabbath, whatever you can call it today. Jumapili, Sabato, vyote unaweza kuita leo. The prophet said this is the day of a man. Nabii anasema hiyo ni siku ya mwanadamu. This is not the day of the Lord. Hii sio siku ya Bwana. But the day of the Lord. Lakini siku ya Bwana. Where John entered in. Ambapo Yohana aliingia. He was taken right there. Alipeleka moja kwa moja pale. He was taken in on the day of judgment. Alipelekwa siku ya hukumu. He was taken in the millennium. Akapelekwa kwenye utawala wa miaka. He was taken in eternity. Akapelekwa kwenye umilele on the law and it was 2 years na ilikuwa ni miaka miwili on the day of the lord siku ya bwana hii are you following that amen now look at this sasa angalia hili he was in the spirit alikuwa katika roho on the lord's day siku ya bwana now the prophet says sasa nabii anasema There is nothing that you can do. Hakuna kitu chochote unaweza kufanya without you being in the spirit bila kuwa katika roho. Even he says, hata anasema, when we have time, I will read some of these things. Kama na wakati tutasoma baadhi ya mambo. Even if you want to receive the Holy Ghost, hata kama unataka upokea Roho Mtakatifu, be in the spirit. Lazima uwe katika roho. The true worshipers Waamini waabudue halisi. Must worship the Lord in the spirit. Lazima amwabudu Bwana katika roho and in truth na katika kweli. Because everything kwa sababu kila kitu if you want to get anything from the Lord kama unataka kupokea kitu chochote kutoka kwa Bwana just be in the spirit. Unatakiwa tu uwe katika roho. If you want to be a good singer kama unataka kuwa mwimbaji mzuri just be in the spirit. Uwe katika roho. If you want to be a good preacher man, kama unataka kuwa mhubiri mzuri, be in the spirit. Uwe katika roho. If you want to see the word of God, kama unataka kuliona neno la Mungu, be in the spirit. Uwe katika roho. Without you being in the spirit, bila wewe kuwa katika roho, you cannot understand spiritual things. Uwezi kuelewa mambo ya rohoni. Because spiritual things, kwa sababu mambo ya rohoni, are spiritually yanapambanuliwa kiroho Remember kibukeni that this book kwamba kitabu hiki was not written by five senses hakikuandikwa na hisi tano it was written kiliandikwa by the spirit of the lord na roho wa bwana and god is not in five senses na mungu hayuko kwenye hisi tano and for anyone to understand this na mtu yeyote kuweza kuelewa hiki jesus said yesu alisema to nicodemus kwa nicodemus you must be born again lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili 
you must be born of the spirit roho, water and kwa maji, the spirit kwa maji na kwa roho. without that Pira hiyo, you cannot understand kuelewa, the kingdom of god ufalme wa mungu you can't even see it kuona, blessed be the name of the lord are you following that nalifuatilia hilo now sasa let us continue pale i was in the spirit on the lord's day nalikuwa katika roho siku ya bwana and he heard nikasikia behind me a great voice as of a trumpet sauti kuu nyuma yangu kama sauti ya baragumu are you following that nalifuatilia hilo and the prophet said na nabia nasema a trumpet baragumu signifies that there is someone important kami ina kuonyesha kwamba kuna mtu muhimu anakuja it signifies who ina inamaanisha vita pia trouble and so forth matatizo na kila kitu are you following that nafuatia hiyo so Sasa, john yohana first of all he was in the spirit on the lord's day kwanza kabisa alikuwa katika roho siku ya bwana and he heard behind him akasikia nyuma yake a great voice of a trumpet sauti kuu kama sauti ya baragumu first it Kwanza. just it just to awake him. Kwanza lazima ikuamshe. A trumpet baragumu trees ina inashtua. It makes you alert. Inakufanya ukae tayari. Boom! Boom! Unashtuka. Are you following that? Unafuata hiyo. And then when John sasa Yohana alipo heard that trumpet aliposikia hiyo sa baragumu the bible says bila nasema then he heard ndipo akasikia one say mmoja akisema i am alpha mimi ni alpha and omega na omega first of all kwanza kama a trumpet must sound baragumu lazima ipikwe before an important one begins to introduce himself kabla yule aliye muhimu ajaanza kujitambulisha i am alpha mimi ni alpha and omega na omega the first wa kwanza and the last na wa mwisho are you following that nafuatilia hilo i am the only one mimi ndiye pekee and i am the last one na ndiye wa mwisho. I am the only Jehovah. Mimi ndiye Yehova pekee. And in the ending I will be Jehovah. Na mwisho nitakuwa Yehova mimi. I am the first. Mimi ndiye wa kwanza. And I am the last. Na wa mwisho. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Now look. Sasa angalia. He said. Anasema, I heard the voice behind me. Nikasikia sauti nyuma yangu. And when I tend to see the voice. Na nilipogeuka nione ile sauti. Not to see the one who is speaking to me. Sio aone mtu anayeongea naye. But to see the voice. Lakini aone sauti. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. You say how can you see the voice? Sasa unawezaje kuona sauti? Whatever you read in the Bible. Chochote unachosoma katika Biblia. Search it in the Bible. Hebu kitafute kwenye Biblia. And you see where it is coming from. Uone kinatoka wapi? When Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Wakati Adam na Hawa kwenye bustani ya Edeni. When they sinned before God. Walipotenda dhambi mbele za Bwana. And God na Mungu visited them in the evening. Akawatembelea jioni. Adam said Adam alisema When God said Mungu aliposema Where are you Adam Adam uko wapi He said alisema I heard I heard nilisikia the voice of God walking sauti ya Mungu ikitembea and then I went to hide nikaenda kujificha The voice of God can walk sauti ya Mungu inaweza kutembea If the voice of God can walk, kama sauti ya Mungu inaweza kutembea, then you can turn also to see. Basi unaweza ukageuka sasa uone. Are you following that? Nafuata hiyo. John said, I turn. Yohana alisema nikageuka to see the voice. Kuona ile sauti. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Before I can go into deeper into that, kabla sijaenda kwenye kilindi cha hilo, Let us see. Hebu natuone. What 
it, we are talking about. Now look. The Bible says. I know most of us. Even me that is what I used to do. The Bible says. We shall see. And we shall be like him. How many have read that? Blessed him. Now. Our interpretation, even me, that is what I knew, that we shall go and see you, and when we shall see you, we shall be like you. You know, the prophet said, always the devil he will point you very far. That today you can't see him. Because no one has seen God. So you can't see him. But you shall. When Brother Brenham went there, he asked, Aliuliza. Where is Jesus? He, yes, he said, Ah, not now. He Wakamambia, ah, you, yes, so, meaning, those that are in the sixth dimension, they have not yet seen him. And they are not like him. They are not And they are not like him. They are not like him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All right. Vema. Asa, ebu tuende kwenye kitabu cha Zakaria. Na tuone. Zakaria. Zakaria anachosema na B. Zakaria. And the angel that talked with me came again. Zakaria chapter 4 verse 1. Zakaria 4 mstari wa 1. Na yule malaika aliyesema nami akanijia mara ya pili and waked me akaniamsha as a man that is awakened out of his sleep. Kama mtu aamshwa vyo katika usingizi wake. Are you following that? Nafatia ilo. The talking of that angel. Namna ya maongezi ya yule malaika. Came again. Ilikuja tena. To do the same thing to talk to Zakaria. Kitu, kufanya kitu kile kile na kuongea na Zakaria. By his voice. Kwa sauti yake. He was awakened. Aliamshwa. As a man. Kama mtu. Awakened from his sleep. Aamshwa vyo katika usingizi wake. Then, when it happened, listen, and said unto me, what seest thou? First of all, he could not, let, let me show you, he could not tell Zachariah that what thou seest in the flesh. Unaona nini katika He knew in the flesh he did not see anything. Asingeweza kumuuliza unaona nini katika mwili? Alijua kwenye mwili hawezi kuona kitu. So after he was awakened. Kwa baada ya kuamshwa, then the angel, ndipo malaika, looked at Zakaria. Akamwangalia Zakaria and saw that he has seen something. Akaona kwamba Zakaria kaona kitu. He knew now he was in the spirit to see some. Malaika akajua huyu yuko kwenye roho sasa kuweza kuona mambo. And said unto me, what thou seest? Akamwambia, unaona nini? And I said, I have looked. Nikasema, nimeona. And behold, natazama a candlestick of gold, kinara cha taa cha dhahabu tupu cha Mungu. With a bow upon the top of it. Nacho kina bakuri, bakuri nyuma yake. And these seven lamps thereof. Na taa zake saba juu yake. And seven pipes to the seven lamps. Tena iko mirija saba ya kuleta mafuta. Which are upon the top thereof. Kwa taa zote zoko juu yake. 
and two olive trees by it. Na mizeituni miwili karibu yake. One upon the right Moja side upande wa kuume of the bow and the other upon the left. Wale bakuli na mmoja upande wa wake wa kushoto. And I answered and spoke to the angel that talked with me saying Nami nikajibu nikamwambia yule malaika aliyesema nami nikasema What are these my lord Eh hey, bwana wangu vitu hivi ni nini Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me Lipo malaika aliyesema nami akajibu akaniambia No is thou not this be Ujui vitu hivi ni nini I said nay lord Nikasema la bwana He said then he answered and said speak and to me say this is the word of the lord Akajibu akaniambia akisema hili ndilo neno la bwana Oh what he saw Chot ijoto alichokiona was seven golden lampstands Aliona vinara saba vya taa Are you following that Unafuatilia hilo And When he looked at those things na alipoona vitu hivyo he did not know what they were hakujua vilikuwa ni nini then the angel that talked with him said ndipo malaika aliyesema naye akamwambia you don't know those things wewe hujui vitu hivyo he said no lord i don't know asema bwana la mimi sijui Then that angel did not say Asa ile malaika hakuanza kusema Aha Aha sasa These are seven churches Hizi ni nyakati saba za kanisa Oh these are uh, golden uh, seven candlesticks Hii ni vinara saba vya dhahabu He said Alisema This is the word of the Lord Hili ni neno la Bwana <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. This is the word of the Lord. Hili ni neno la Bwana. And now let us compare. Sasa hebu tulinganishe. With John. Na Yohana huko. John also. Yohana pia when it came to this point, ilipofika mahali hapo, it is written that imeandikwa kwamba Oh, blessed be the name. Lord, oh, jina la Bwana libarikiwe. You know I am following the spirit of the Lord. Unajua namfuata roho wa Bwana. And I thought I would bring it on Sunday but nilifikiri nitayaleta haya Jumapili lakini roho wa Bwana anayaleta. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Nami nalikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Nikasikia sauti kuu nyuma yangu kama sauti ya baragumu. Best of And I tend to see the voice that speak with me. Mstari wa 12. Nikageuka nione ile sauti iliyosema nami. And being ten, na nilipogeuka I saw seven golden candlesticks. Niliona vinara vya taa saba vya dhahabu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you get it? Nalipata hilo. When Zakaria so yo uh, yule Zakaria alipoona the seven golden candlesticks. Alipoona vinara saba vya dhahabu When he turned, alipogeuka, he saw seven golden. But the angel said this is the word of the Lord. Alipogeuka akaona vinara saba vya taa, lakini malaika akamwambia hili neno la Bwana. And also John, na Yohana pia, when he turned to see the voice, alipogeuka kuiona sauti, he saw seven golden candlesticks. Akaona vinara saba vya taa vya And dhahabu. in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, na katikati ya vile vinara ni one light unto the son of man tumbano wa mwana wa Adam not the son of man sio mwana wa Adam no but one light lakini mmoja blessed Sama. be the name of the lord hebu ni, ni Mungu abarikiwe sana are you get it amen he did not tend to see Aku, a son of man akugeuka kuona mwana wa Adam but one light lakini mmoja kama blessed be the name of the lord amen The, I am coming now to the seven golden candlestick. Na vijia sasa hivi vinara saba vya taa. Are you following that? Amen. Now, sasa look at that. Hebu angalia hilo. Now, he, what did he see? Aliona nini? When he saw this, alipoona hiki, he saw akaona the word of God. Neno la Mungu. When Zechariah saw that, 
Zakaria alipoona hiyo he saw aliona the word of God neno la Mungu in the temple of Solomon katika hekalu la Sulemani these things hivi vitu where are they are before entering into the holy of holies vilikuepo kabla ya kuingia mahali patakatifu patakatifu up to now hadi sasa hivi Jews don't know what they mean wayahudi hawajui maana yake they have it as the symbol of Israel. Wao wanavyo kama alama za taifa la Israeli. In parliament they have it as the symbol of Israel. Kule kwenye kwenye bunge lao wanayo hiyo vinala kama alama ya taifa lao la Israeli. But without knowing what they are. Bila kujua maana yake. Are you get that? Napata hilo. Are you get that? Napata hilo. Who is this one here? Huyu hapa ni nani? We see Paul. Tunaona Paulo. We see Irene. Tunaona Ireneo. We see Martin. Tunaona Martin. We see Columba. Tunaona Columba. We see Ruth. Tunaona Luza. We see Wesley. Tunaona Wesley. We see William Maron Brenner. Tunaona William Brana mwisho. What is this? Ni kitu gani hiki? The word of God. Neno la Mungu. Paul Paulo was the word of God. Alikuwa ni neno la Mungu. Martin, Martin, the word of God. Neno la Mungu. All these seven messengers. Wajumbe wote saba wao. Ah, the word of God. Ni neno la Mungu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you get that? Nalipata hilo. Now, it is the word of God. Sasa ni neno la Mungu. In the ending, uh, mwishoni within the word of god there ndani ya neno la mungu within these seven golden candlesticks ndani ya hivi vinara saba vya taa one like kuna mtu kama unto the son of man mwana wa adam who is that one huyo ni nani who is that one huyo ni nani let us read somewhere just hebu tusome mahali fulani for us to understand a bit hebu tu ili tuelewe kidogo hapo Verse 13 and in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a, a garment down to the foot and guard about the paps msari wa 13 na katikati ya vile vinara nikaona mtu mfano wa mwana wa Adam amevaa vazi hilo fika miguni na kufungwa mshipi wa dhahabu matitini now i want So, a man sasa, sasa mwanaume ni kifua but a woman lakini mwanamke ni nyonyo matiti are you following that amen and the, the, this belt passed on the sasa hii mkanda huu ulipita mshipi ulipita kwenye matiti showing that kuonyesha kwamba she is a woman huyu ni mwanamke not a man sio mwanaume are you following that nafuatilia hilo she is a woman yeye ni mwanamke who is that one huyu ni nani the bride of jesus christ bibi harusi wa yesu kristo now coming to the word which says we shall see sasa tukiingia neno lenyewe tutamuona and we shall be like him na tutakuwa kama yeye if you see the word ukiona neno you will be like him utakuwa kama yeye that's why that bride there hiyo ndio sababu huyo bibi harusi pale upon seeing the word of god baada kuliona neno la Mungu she is like him anakuwa kama yeye for the bible says kwa sababu biblia inasema at that day siku ile you shall know mtajua that i'm in the father kwamba niko ndani ya baba and the father in me na baba ndani yangu and i in you na mimi ndani yangu and me are you get that mnalipata Are you getting that? Mnalipata. Jehovah? Jehovah? Jesus? Yesu? The bride? Bibi harusi. A one body. Ni mwili mmoja. No wonder. Si ajabu. Jesus said, Yesu alisema. The works that I do. Kazi nizifanyazo. Shall you do also? Mtafanya na nini pia? All the works that Jesus kazi zote alizozifanya Yesu that bride huyo bibi harusi is not will is doing it sio kwamba ata 
anafanya sasa hivi rising the dead kufufua wafu making the lame walk kutembeza viwete casting out demons toa mapepo whatever whatever chochote chochote the bride of jesus bibi harusi wa yesu who is like him ambaye yuko kama yeye are you get that amen blessed be the jina la bwana libarikiwe we shall see him tutamuona and we shall be like him na tutakuwa kama yeye before brother brenham went there kabla ndugu brenham ajaenda kule he saw him alimuona and he was like him na alikuwa kama yeye before everyone should go there kabla yoyote kwenda kule we should see him lazima muone and be like him na uwe kama yeye Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you get that? Nalipata. Just because I started late I will stop maybe somewhere at 18:30. Kwa sababu nilianza kwa kuchelewa nitaishia pale kwenye nusu sala. Just 15 minutes remaining. Nina dakika kama 15. Are you get that? Nalipata hilo. I will do that. Nitafanya hivi. Uh okay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Now look at that. Sasa hebu angalia hilo. Um always daima you know what makes the bride of Jesus Christ or any person every Christian to have the life like God kinachomfanya mtu yote yule mkristo bibi harusi kuwa na maisha ya Mungu. It is only the word of God. Ni neno la Mungu peke yake. And the Bible says Nabii anasema in the beginning hapo mwanzo was the word kulikuwa na neno and the word na hiyo neno was with God ilikuwa kwa Mungu and the word na neno is God ni Mungu Is that right? Je, hiyo ni sawa? There is no other messenger hakuna mjumbe mwingine no other servant of god hakuna mtumishi mwingine wa mungu that god can trust ambaye mungu anaweza kumtumaini trusted only his word ameliamini neno lake peke yake because his word kwa sababu neno lake can never fail haliwezi kushindwa that's why ndio sababu when god wakati mungu calls a prophet anapomuita nabii he puts him in prison anamweka gerezani are you following that amen it is not only john who went on his of patmos sio yohana aliyeenda peke yake kule kisiwa cha patmos but all the prophets lakini manabii wote they pass through tough time wanalipitia nyakati ngumu in order for god himself kusudi mungu mwenyewe to speak through their tongue anene kwa kutumia ulimi wao God comes down Mungu anashuka chini to I judge all their life kukamata maisha yao yote kuyateka to tend them where he wants them to ili awapeleke popote anapotaka Blessed be the name of the Lord Jina la Bwana libariki Are you following that Nalifuata hilo Look at Job Hebu muangalie Ayubu He was on his own is of Patmos Alikuwa kwenye kisiwa chake cha Patmos He not know it yeye bila kujua that it is god who is at work kwamba ni mungu yuko kazini him had already discussed with the devil there mungu alikuwa tayari ashafanya kikao na ibilisi and the devil na is the agent of god ni wakala wa mungu not even knowing what the even the devil what the devil is doing and job didn't know what he had done ayubu hakujua ibilisi kafanya kikao kule wala hakujua chochote kilichofanyika kule no wonder job si ajabu ayubu he justified himself alijihesabia haki almost ka, a, almost above god karibu kumpita hata mungu are you following that nafuatia hiyo until god baka mungu send eliu akatuma Small young man by the name of Eliu akatuma kijana mdogo anaitwa Eliu to reprove Job kumkemea Ayubu and after he reproved him na baada ya kumkemea Ayubu that is when now God came down ndipo sasa Mungu akashuka are you following that Amen. now i want you to see this sasa nataka muone hii i am saying nasema hii God Mungu has all 
what the prophet passed through hard times. The man you see there he suffered with his stomach pain Na maumivu ya tumbo while he was praying for the sick. Huku akiombea wagonjwa mimbarani. Just suffered. Anateseka. Him praying for the sick. Yeye yeah, anaombea wagonjwa. He was freed somewhere when the seals were open in 1963. Aliwekwa huru kidogo mahali fulani baada ya kufunguliwa kwa miuli mpaka kinaka. He enjoyed a little bit and God took him away. Alifurahia kipindi kidogo tu na Mungu akamwendea. His work was already finished. Kwa sababu kazi yake ilikuwa imeisha. I want you to understand. Nataka muelewe hivi. If you follow what he says. Kama utafuata kila anachosema. Through his servants. Kupitia watumishi wake. You take the word of God exactly the way it is said. Ulichukue neno la Mungu kama lilivyo neno. You will never be disappointed. Utakatishwa tamaa na kitu chochote. Amen. You will never be disappointed. Kamwe hutakatishwa tamaa. Are you following that? Amen. You will never be disappointed. Kamwe hutakatishwa tamaa na chochote. I read it on Sunday but let me, let me talk on this one. Let me bring it to you. Eh? The Bible says, Biblia nasema, "Our bride is eh? the, the the bride of Jesus Christ has made the wife of Jesus Christ has made herself ready." Biblia nasema kwamba bibi harusi wa Yesu Kristo amejiweka mwenyewe tayari. In closing I want to say this. Katika kufunga nataka niseme hivi. God Mungu has given you every material to make yourself ready. Amekupa kila malighafi ya kujiandalia. Yaani uweze kujiandaa mwenyewe. It is like a man finds a woman ni kama mwanaume amepata mke. Will you marry me? Mwanaume amepata mwanamke akamwambia juu utakubali ni kuoe. When they agree sasa wanapokubaliana pale and the day uh, the man will come and get the tumor na siku ambayo mwanaume huyo atakuja kukuta yule mwanamke that woman mwanamke huyo ataanza kujiandaa kwanza every time kila wakati atakuwa kwenye that is the, the time of her separation huo ndio wakati wa yeye kujitenga even those who teach her, they say separate yourself from this and hata wale wanaomfundisha watamwambia jitenge na hao watu wengine because she has entered into another realm kwa sababu ameingia sasa kwenye viwango vingine her thoughts are different mawazo yake yako tofauti her expectations are different matarajio yake yako tofauti she is not thinking like these others who Ua, ua, yeye hawazi kama wale mabinti wengine ambao hawaja hawaja hawajatumbiwa she is promised yeye kachaachumbiwa she is expecting something greater anatarajia kitu fulani kikubwa zaidi so if she doesn't separate herself and, sasa asipojitenga mwenyewe and be mixing with Other girls who are not even promised. Awe anajichanganya changanya tu na mabinti wengine ambao hawajachukua. They can even confuse you. Wanaweza hata wakamchanganya zaidi. They will begin to say because of their jealousy, no, that man cannot even come to you. Kwa sababu ya uivu walionao wataanza kumwambia unajua hakufai yule kijana atakuariki tu. Hafai. In fact me I, I saw that man hata mimi mwenyewe nilimuona yule with another woman nilikuwa na mwanamke mwingine vingunguti and you get confused paka unaanza kuchanganyikiwa the church has to separate itself kanisa lazima lijitenge lenyewe that's why the prophet and the bible says ndio maana nabii nabii anasema come out of her my people tokeni kati yake enyi wa kwa all these nominations i am available they have no promise 
hayana ahadi hayajachumbiwa they will just confuse you yatakuchanganya separate jitenge from this one they are not chosen kutoka kwa hao wote hawajachaguliwa but you, you have a promise lakini wewe una ahadi umechumbiwa one of these days he is coming to take you moja siku hizi anakuja kukuchukua Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. May God bless you. Mungu nawabariki.